Hello friends, today in this video we are going to see armature reaction. What is armature reaction? From the name it is clear that it is the reaction of armature to something, right? Yes, we can discuss about them here. In this paper you can see three figures. The first figure A that shows main magnetic field. The main magnetic field is moving from north pole to south pole and it is a steady magnetic field. The term steady magnetic field is very important in this case. And the next case figure B you can see armature magnetic field. What is armature magnetic field? Whenever the ma uh, machine load get loaded then armature current will start flowing through the armature and the current through this armature will create a rotating magnetic field around this conductor. For this we can easily understand by using uh, Maxwell's cork screw rule. According to him if my marker represents the conductor then my thumb represents the direction of current and my curled fingers that represents the magnetic field around this conductor okay that will be a rotating one i think you got it so in here in this bubble and in the from this plus sign you can easily understand that these two things represent the conductors and the direction of current in this bubble the current is moving from the paper okay right and the next case moving towards the paper using Fleming's right hand rule. Uh, so here the current is when the current flowing starts flowing through this conductor then the rotating magnetic field will sets up around this conductor and that shown here in this bubble portions dotted portions okay and uh, in the third figure you can see armature reaction clearly what is that here you can see main magnetic field which will move from north pole to south pole and is it is is it a steady path now first figure it is a steady path and here main magnetic field is a steady magnetic field but due to the armature reaction the path will get diverged here due to the effect of what the armature magnetic field so here magnetic field is moving from north to south pole and armature magnetic field is rotating if you observe the arrow you can easily understand that In this point it is aiding some portion of the armature magnetic field will aids the main field and also which will oppose us okay here the main field is moving in this direction and armature field is rotating this direction so they are moving opposite and in some other case it is moving in this direction and it is moving upward so which will crosses the magnetic field, main magnetic field so here you can see old na natural plane here and this will be the new natural plane that is I mean a magnetic neutral axis and the position of the magnetic neutral ac axis shifted from here to here due to the armature reaction loading effect okay and we can discuss about the effect of armature reaction mainly the armature reaction has two effects they are demagnetizing effect and cross magnetizing effect in demagnetizing effect you can see the main magnetic field and the armature magnetic field is rotating here if you observe that it is clear that 
the lines of force are moving from here to there and the armature field is moving from in this direction okay at this particular point some particular portion of the armature magnetic field will oppose the main magnetic field just opposing them just opposing them okay so at this condition we can see that the main magnetic field is demagnetized by the armature magnetic field okay that will oppose us some portion will oppose us the main magnetic field here so we can say that it is the main field get demagnetized here we can calculate for calculation purpose we can calculate the demagnetizing ampere turns per pole by using this equation phi m by 360 into zi i think every terms are familiar with you phi m is the total forward lead in mechanical or angular degree phi m and uh, z will be the total number of conductors and i will be the current in each armature conductor and the value of i for wave winding it is i a by 2 and for lab winding i is equal to i a by p p is the number of poles so demagnetizing effect will deeply affect the main magnetic field so if we go to the next effect that is cross magnetizing effect from the name it is very clear that the armature magnetic field will crosses the main magnetic field okay the action will be perpendicular one here you can see that the main field is moving from north to south pole and the armature field is rotating here at a particular point some portion of the armature field will perpendicular will become perpendicular to the main magnetic field if it is the main magnetic field then armature magnetic field will become perpendicular to them at this point okay moving like this direction it will crosses the main field and here also you can see that it is moving from here to there and armature field will crosses or distort the main field okay these are the two effects and the cross magnetizing effect can be calculated by using this equation ampere turns per pole cross magnetizing ampere turns per pole will be equal to zi into 1 by 2 p minus phi m by 360 our terms are familiar with you right and these are the two effects of armature reaction what are they armature reaction is nothing but the reaction of armature magnetic field to the main magnetic field as a result of that it will demagnetize or weaken the main magnetic field and the next as a result of armature reaction the armature magnetic field will cross or distort the main magnetic field and these effects will reduce the entire efficiency of the machine so that we can reduce this armature reaction by providing some windings which are connected in series with the armature field windings the windings are called compensating windings they are placed along with the pole shoe at the tip of the pole shoe they are placed and in series with the armature windings and they will provide necessary compensation for the armature reaction in this way we can reduce the armature reaction and you can use these equations for calculation purpose okay that's all about armature reaction and its effects okay thank you